Operation New Hope started as a community development corporation back in 1999 um, with Kevin Gay founding it here in Springfield doing historic uh, restorations. We were solely doing uh, first time home buying and we decided, you know what, not everyone's ready for first time home buying. Some people just need a place to lay their head at night. So we decided to build a complex of 14 uh, units, both studio, one bedrooms and two bedrooms um, to fit the masses and where people are at. The reason that the Dozier Apartments are called the Dozier Apartments is after Henrietta Dozier, the first female architect here in Springfield and Jacksonville as a whole. Because of Henrietta Dozier, we were able to build this amazing complex here in marry the old construction here of Springfield to the new construction of the Dozier Apartments. The Dozier Apartments being someplace that you can call home, you feel safe, you feel comfortable in, allows people to grow in other ways, jobs, uh, careers, things of that nature. I live in the Springfield neighborhood in Jacksonville, Florida. I've been here for about two years. I work for Second Mile Ministries, which is in the Brentwood neighborhood, just a couple blocks away from here. They, um, the cool thing about the Dozier Apartments are that they have certain apartments reserved for different income levels. I had been kind of in flexible housing arrangements and often living out of a suitcase and having a place to put my things and to come home to and know that like it was my space um, was really great and really invaluable and just truly a blessing. I hope to stay in Jacksonville. I love what I do, I love where I work, and I also love where I live. We were invited by the city of Jacksonville and Operation New Hope to participate in this, um, which ended up being the first new construction in historic Springfield in a number of decades. It was designed to accommodate a number of different income levels, but primarily targeting those individuals below 60% AMI. So I'm really happy to have been able to be a part of the Dozier and seeing the actual impact on an individual who's actually working in this community to impact other people's lives. That's